And Richard Southern joins us now. Hello, Richard. And Albert. We're number one, but in this case, it's nothing to really be proud about for the city of Toronto. No. Uh, Orkin, <laughs> Orkin, you know, the pest control guys, yeah. Talbot, uh, they have released their third annual list of the rattiest cities in Ontario. Which cities has the most rats? Yuck. Well, Toronto's number one. <laughs> uh, Mississauga, second on the list. Scarborough, third. Ottawa, fourth. Sudbury, holding the fifth spot, Talbot. Uh, Orkin warning homeowners that uh, rats are actually very active this time of year. Mm. And they're asking homeowners to, you know, check uh, for small holes or cracks in the perimeter of their home because that's how they get in. You know, rough estimates put the number of rats in Toronto in the tens of thousands, most of them located in the downtown area. Hmm. Are you rat free? Is your home rat free? Uh, I believe I'm rat free. I mean, I don't see any uh, signs of rats. And you know what? I would have thought that Ottawa would have taken this. It has the <laughs> highest concentration of politicians. Ba bomb, ba rim shot. <laughs> Very good, Talbot. Well, you know what, Richard? Rats are actually a delicacy in some cultures, and they could even be perceived as a health food depending on how the menu's written. What's this about? So, this is interesting. A, a new study from Ohio State University finds diners are more likely to order food from a healthy restaurant when the menu font looks handwritten, Talbot. Okay? Mm -hmm. They think that signals that the food is better, of better quality for them. Uh, restaurants are really cluing into this. Many use uh, design. Uh, elements to influence consumers. A fast food restaurant sometimes display photos of salads or bottled waters on their menus to make people believe hmm. that it's more healthy than, than it is, even the burgers and the fries. Uh, right. They also use restaurants' colors, you know, things like red and yellow, known to stimulate appetites. So that's why you see them in a lot of fast food uh, colors. Uh, so, we, you know, I just eat, I'll eat no matter what the font looks like, quite frankly. Yeah, it doesn't me. matter to me, Richard. And all this talk about food is getting me hungry. And you know what that eventually leads us to? What's that? The throne. But it looks like too much <laughs> wiping, maybe wiping out our forests. Yeah, so uh, we're using too much toilet paper, <laughs> Talbot. Breaking news. And it's uh, destroying Canada's forests, according to a new report from the Natural Defense Council. It found that the major toilet paper brands use Use only virgin fiber pulp, and that comes mostly from Canada's boreal forests. Mm. And it's because that creates the softest, most absorbent toilet paper, which apparently is what consumers are after right now. The report notes that North American consumers use about three rolls of toilet paper per day per week. Wow. But you know, going back only about 150 years ago, we were using no toilet paper. The report said using things like corn cobs to clean oh, wow. up. So well, we've gone from nothing to maybe too much. This is a big problem, Tal, but what do you think we should do about it? Well, you know what, Richard, I think there is a pretty simple solution to this. If you want to save the trees from the leaves to the bark, embrace the skid mark. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thanks, Talbot. Thanks, Richard. <laughs>